In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing this Rascal list. I saw Trasco playing it on stream the other night. Um, don't know if it's the exact list or not. I just built it from memory. I've seen it on the ladder a few times. Um, I'm sure the cards aren't, aren't exact because, you know, I just kind of put together what I thought made sense. But um, I'm running the basic land just because I don't want any interruptions. And the main uh, combo in this deck is we're trying to get to the Wild Shape Brontosaurus. And then we're going to try and make a bunch of copies of it. And this shuts the game out from like, you know, every aggro deck, every mid-range deck. Um, I mean, Lava Wave doesn't even do it. So really the only thing you have to worry about is this getting countered, uh, Brontosaurus getting countered, or like Day of Judgment. Outside of that, it's really hard to beat. So running uh, the Tasty Morsel, just a one drop that has a decent finale ability. Uh, Throne to get some more win cons. We're running Dodge Death. This is something that I originally didn't have in the list whenever I was putting it together earlier today. But I think it just provides too much value because um, if you play it on your Merchant of Death, then you're going to draw twice, and then if this dies, you draw two more times, which helps us find the Grim Echoes. Uh, Infectious Scorpion, getting two Fatal Infections is crazy. Dodging Death on it and getting two that way uh, can really um, just help you get enough removal for maybe like a beefy mid-range matchup. Then we have Grub. Obviously, we're trying to ramp to the Brontosaurus if we can. It's not a big, you know, it's... It's not like we're going to have a ramp package, but, you know, it's in there to help us get there earlier sometimes. Bone Club Shambler, again, just to uh, increase the stats of some of the cards in our hands, help us fight against aggro and mid-range a little bit better. Recycle Grotesque as a way to enable our finale abilities and then get a 6-6 afterwards, so it's good against aggro and mid-range and helps absorb damage from Chaos Lightning. Soul of the Wood because, um, you know, it helps you stabilize, you can heal a little bit. And then uh, also if you dodge death and then kill it, you can gain up to 12 life in one turn, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Krav, the un unredeemed, 4-drop uh, 7-7 seven, seven, trample debut, deals 6 damage to another friend or creature or yourself. So again, it's just another enabler like our grotesque friend here. Also, if you don't have a great target for Grim Echoes, you can make a whole board of these, which are 7-7 seven, seven tramplers, which isn't bad either. Then we have the Shadeborn Steed. So... Um, makes your opponent discard and then on you know it's Nebraska so they discard twice so if you dodge death that's twice when it dies it's twice so you can get your opponent to discard up to four times that really messes up brawl can really mess up control I mean really any deck right if you lose four cards you're probably gonna lose the game right flagrant fouls for some spot removal turnstone for some more spot removal also great for dealing with relentless creatures um, the Tarask however you say this seven drop eight two always has relentless finale gets plus one plus zero for the rest of the game. So it just keeps coming back. It's another target that you can Grim Echoes, and if you have a whole board of these, not even Day of Judgment will help your opponent. So um, they have to basically shell game or turn to stone this or stop the Grim Echoes or they're gonna die. Ebon Death, I put it in um, very recently. And the reason was because against like some aggressive stuff, if the Brontosaurus dies, you want a way to bring it back and Ebon Death will do just that. And then you have it again for the Grim Echoes. And then, obviously, the Grimekos destroy a friendly creature to summon base copies of it until your side is full. So when you have a full board of Brontosaurus, your opponent just, um, you know, wants to rage quit. So that's the deck, and um, I'm planning on pushing a little bit today and uh, a little bit tomorrow after work. And um, finally, just get to Mythic. I've just been putting it off this season, kind of being really chill. The meta is super solved right now, um, so I'm really uh, waiting for some more cards to come out. But it's, it's about time, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so we're versing an Ashiok. Um, not what we're trying to target down, right? Preferably uh, aggro and mid-range, but the Brontosaurus, if we get the combo off, if they don't have negate, then, they, then they're dead, so. Um, it might be okay. Also, we can gain a lot of life off the Soul of the Wood, so. We'll have to see. I like ramping a lot, so. I'm gonna keep both the grubs. The faster I get there, the better. Okay, they're in School of the Wizards. This is going to be difficult. Really glad I kept both of these because uh, that's just going to make all the difference. I'll take the one drop top deck. Hopefully, it's this into Wolf and we can get this going. Grab, anticipate, extract fear. Wolf. 
Unfortunately, my entire hand, with the exception of Shambler, auto dies to uh, Infest, but um, I was going to say auto loses to Infest. This will be a 1 1 for all the good that'll do. That's not too bad. Already one nightmare. Um, let's just do this. See if we can get this trade off. Excellent. Get off the board. Okay, and now to facilitate the ramp plan, we're gonna go grub. Dodge death would be fantastic with Steed. Hopefully we can get that soon. Yeah, that's underwhelming. They have to get it online, right? Hopefully that's not like into a drain blood or... Ooh, that's, that's nasty. I don't like that. Um, if this goes on to here, that's super worth it. Honestly, either one is pretty worth. I'm thinking about going double two, but it walks into infest really badly. Yeah, let's get the game plan going. Okay, it went where I wanted it to go, so I think that made this turn worth it. If they want to take six, so be it. They just put themselves in a worse position whenever I start having tramplers. Yeah. And they're going to take the other three, I'm assuming. Yeah. Now, Throne plus Steed would be fantastic. Or Dodge Death, either one. I feel like dodge death is just game over, right? Well, I'm obviously going to block this. I'm blocking here because when I attack, they're just always going to let it through. They're never going to let me not get it. You know, they're just going to take it so I don't get the double ramp anyway. So I might as well get rid of it now. Hopefully they don't take my own Brontosaurus or my Grim uh, Echoes. All right, whatever. That's fine. Okay, one of them's a grub. That's completely fine for me. Um, yeah, so those two look pretty good to me. I'm gonna keep the fragile mana gem. Hopefully, they don't have shell game for this. That would be sad. They're probably gonna signature spell this turn and then hope to top deck elemental mastery before this can. Potentially get it out of their hand. No. Maybe they're trying to add a bunch of cards so that way when this discards it has less of a chance to hit signature spell. Or maybe they haven't even drawn signature spell yet. Appreciate that. I'm summoning this immediately and uh, going to uh, beat face. Because I have no idea whenever I'm... I don't have no idea when I'm going to actually get uh, Grim Echoes, right? And the other option is to go really wide and then lose to infest, and I'm not I'm not a fan of that, so. Trample them. And yes, I know I'm, I'm two turns away from Grim Echoes being able to play it anyway. Um, but I do have Ebon Death in my deck, so even if this goes away, I have a chance of getting it back. As long as it doesn't get shell gamed, right? Or uh, as long as they haven't taken a uh, turn stone from my deck. Well. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to get rid of this with like a drain blood or something like that. They could have gotten turn stone off of that too. Potential. Perfect one's craft. Mm -hmm. I'll take that one. Open your mind. You cannot keep secrets. I'm gonna play a board that doesn't lose to infest, so. That. Well, you know what? Don't worry. I'll throw on you. If they have it, they're still gonna take a bunch of damage. If they don't have it, they're probably gonna die. 
So, let's risk it. There's the stupid turn of stone I knew they were going to have. You know, can't win with your own cars, Ashiok. Jeez. Yeah, it's time to just foul and attack and hope this plan works. And here's another thing that won't die to infest, which is great. Don't know if I'm gonna make it. I hope they don't have the answer. And now they're denied a draw as well, so. We'll see if a classic beatdown plan works. If not, um... Infest, I'll be at two, but then they're gonna gain, you know, some life back, so. Okay, that can't block, so that's effectively a, a, a no-go here. So as long as this isn't a ridiculous amount of nightmares, I'm okay. Two, they block the biggest one, this is five, six, seven, eight, they lose. Woo! Alright, cool, just a classic beatdown got it done. Okay, so I took out the, another, uh, I've been seeing so many rolls today. Um, I took out the Ebon Death and one of the Dodge Deaths to put in two grudge matches. There's a lot of Rawls running around, so I wanted to do that, and uh, this is like kind of case in point here. I'm rooting for so, you to win it all. let's see if they come in handy. Um, I mean, one, two, three... I, I really want to mull for removal, though. Like, I want to mull for removal and Grim Echoes. I'll take that. Yeah. Let's go. Curve's really cheap in this deck, so sometimes if I feel like hard mulling, I can just do that. I'm hoping this really hurts him. Good to see you. know who I am. Actually, I, I don't, but um. Uh, okay, we'll just play this. I want to keep the fragile mana gem uh, to try and get to the big dino as quickly as possible. Okay. Yeah, I also didn't see um, Grudge Match. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and um, the beast with if we have to, we're just gonna follow the thing in the ice next turn, right? It's not the end of the world. And hopefully they play a bunch of stuff trying to pop him off, and then we can uh, get him with Steed. Yeah, it's good, good. That didn't replace itself. Play more stuff that doesn't replace itself. Okay, well... If they have me mill the... Okay. Oh man, that dodge would have been good with Steed though, boy. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know, I don't really want to foul yet, right? Like, I can just play a board? Maybe I'll just do that. Maybe I'll just play a board. We'll see. playing those two because they both have three defense, so they can't get pyroclasmed out, right? Okay, let's see if I get shock takedowned. I should have fouled. You know, because it growing and getting flying was totally something I should have expected. At least now I have a board presence, so when I hit him back, it'll be for some damage. That hurt, guys. That hurt a lot. I know I've played this guy a lot, though. 
So I guess I do know who he is to some extent. It's interesting to play people online all the time. You start recognizing names, but you, you'll, you'll never like meet these people in real life. It's interesting. Shock, Pyroclasm, wipe my board. Here's a wild idea. This is how every good turn starts for him, right? Okay, unless he gets Mana Surge or another Spark, he can't also Chaos Lightning me. Um, I'm tempted to just go Merchant of Death and Barkhide Growth next turn just to get the, the plan in. I just would like something a little bit beefier, like Steed or Soul of the Wood. But, um, you know, what can you do? Full charge! Pyroclasm? <laughs> Trying to set me up for a good Chaos Lightning? <laughs> now it's Pyroclasm, right? No, 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 that was what he had reduced to zero. I am confused. I'm very confused. I'm, I'm very confused. Okay. Um, let's just get the obvious out of the way. Here. This looks like it's gonna hurt. Something with three defense is really great. Death is a part of life. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, that's what I was hoping to get. Oh well, it doesn't matter because the game will kick in, give him two extra cards for the turn, and then he gets another card off of uh, Scepter, so he has a full hand now anyway. Two of those will go away, but it's just that the fact that he has the chance to combo off now that's pretty obnoxious. Like, of course the game couldn't let him just starve with cards for one turn. It had to be like, well, just get two extra draws. Hopefully that takes most of his turn up. He's getting to the point where he's, you know, getting pretty low himself, so he can't just go all out aggression anymore. Hey, that's fine. That's more meat. I'm going Soul the Wood and three drop. Over. Now I'm going turn the stone. So now I'm just gonna go turn the stone. Is this whole video just going to be me beating down people and not actually um, having the combo? It's not a lot of time when you play decks this fast. Yeah. Really glad that wasn't my face. Okay, I feel like he's trying to get my board clear for a uh, Chaos Lightning. That would not surprise me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't die. Death okay. is a part of life. Nice work out there. Thank you. Um, I'm playing stuff with the most defense. <laughs> oh, is his land going off again? I swear, dude. Couldn't possibly just let him have two cards. It's got to be close. Oh, it's so frustrating. That spark of genius or anticipate. So another potential for another huge turn coming. Like it saves the laboratory saves were all so much.
A removal spell off the top would be great. Yeah, sure. Chaos Lightning. He's gonna try and clear my board so I don't attack kill him and do the damage to my face, right? Oh, fire my bolt. To my face. As long as this doesn't go on the blocker, I win. Yay! All are connected. Did you forget about that math too? <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank Justice you. Justice will prevail. Good game, sir. Apparently, um, I'm just never gonna use this card. I'm just gonna play mid range. Okay, so I'm waiting for the opponent to connect here. Either that or my game started freezing again. Alright. Let's see if we can we should be able to beat Soren, right? Come on. Uh I'll keep the other ones. The other one's a trigger for uh, finale effects, but eh. You are utterly insignificant. There's other things to find, right? Gaze upon me and despair. Listen to nature. <laughs> yeah, I'll just. Throw him out there. Try and get it started. Maybe this will be the game I can actually get the combo off. It wasn't a problem before I started recording, and now Grim Echoes is just shy now. So, what can you do? Yeah, that's totally fine. Well, he showed up anyway. So maybe I'll just do, well, you know what? Actually, I want this on the board um, because I might need the Fatal Infection sooner than later. Watch your back. Okay. I'll play Bone Shambler just because it can trade with the 3-3 three, three in the future. Merchant of Death and Scorpion cannot. I already had sneak, but I mean, I guess flying is a little. Oh, it's just gonna keep it. That's right. Well, how do I want to do this then? Probably. Just want to do this. It's slow, but um, I need removal, right? Just an extra 4 damage. But yeah, I'm glad I have the fouls now so I can try and clean up whatever silliness he's about to attempt. Uh, like the, the Reveler or whatever, the Rowdy rowdy Vampire. Rowdy Reveler, yeah, that one. Stop raging, it's only Let's see what happens. Okay. Well, I want this to die for like, for sure, for sure, right? So I think I'm just gonna build me a board here. See if I can turn this game around. Pretty good with flying and sneeze. You can tell me anything. That's not a vamp. It's a wizard. Okay, cool. At least this thing doesn't have flying. 
Stop whinging. It's all your blood. Well, yeah, I'll just chomp. Um, yeah, chomp. Works for me. I thought I was at least gonna have to take the hit from it having flying, but um, that's spectacular. Apparently this is good enough to just win the game, so... I, I think I'm just gonna play uh, this in uh, the Tasty Morsel. Doesn't look tasty. Is he salty? I've done I've done nothing but play like basic things. No. Okay. You know, it actually makes more sense to do this. That's fine. Um, it makes more sense to do this, and then I can sack one off the next turn, and um, they'll just have no hand. So, while I want to do the combo at some point in this video, this is just better, right? You guys can't hear him destroying his bones. I thank you for your donation. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna attack. Interesting. Um. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to block, but you know, I don't want to block, so I'm Shut not gonna. Up. I'd rather just get rid of his hand, right? So let's do that. So let's just see what's in his hand. You don't die. Well, that was unexpected. And then the gate. How interesting. That's what you were holding up. So now I can do this. All are connected. Well, isn't that nice? Okay. I don't care if he gets a favorable on the four four. I'm just punching him for a ton. To your hell. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of decisions to make with two cards and eight mana, guys. Let me show you to the exit. Whew, that was hard. Hmm. It's not lethal if I do this, so I'm just gonna attack. Allow me to take out the trash. Play lethal for next turn. <laughs> Maybe the fourth game, Justice I'll be able to do the combo. The <laughs> that took the bone away, and now we found a toy with a squeaker, man. All right. Let's swing some spell. Goodness gracious, Riker. Hey. That's a decent hand. I've got some cheap plays, I've got some removal. Um, wondering if this is the flying version because of the Moreland Haunt. But, I mean, they probably just run it regardless because they can replay the uh, Smith and Thalia and all the scary goodies, so... I guess we'll have to see. I know I've played this guy a few times before. I recognize the name. Maybe their mulligan is very difficult. Okay. Gaze upon me and despair. Ready to get crushed? Listen to nature. Mm. 
What do you fight for? Okay, that's scary. It's a lot of buffs between aura, courage, and blades, right? Ooh, I could do a one drop. Let's go. Big fan. You won't stand alone. I have their one drop as well. They shocked it. That is very strange in my opinion. Um They both trade, so like this and that trade into the dog. So I'd rather just get the plan going. If I could ever draw Grim Echoes, that would be great. Hear me, card gods, please. Let me draw Grim Echoes. Not when it's too late, like in the next five or six turns or so. Pretty please. Okay, so it is flyers. I'm tempted to play this to try and ramp, but I want more stats in case he doesn't have, you know, more flyers. Yeah, I figured that was in there. And it's gonna hit me for one. That's cool. Yep, 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 yep. Dodge death top deck. That works. are connected. I think that's better than playing um, these two. Maybe not. There's no way you block, bro. You're just taking four damage. What? Why would you block? Is it because he has um, the four drop spell, the helix? I mean, that'll take your whole turn. Let's gear up. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna use foul until. The weapon has been allocated. He's probably just gonna blade this, right? It makes no sense. It does the same damage if he just does this and he gets to keep the card. Now I know where the thing's at, so. I think that was really bad. I'm gonna play this because I'd really like to um, draw some more cards. So, uh, dodge death. Uh, Grotesque, uh, the unredeemed dude, Inspired. any of that stuff would be great. That's really slow. Take up arms. This makes no sense. The sky calls. I can still lose because the game, you know, hates me. Uh, yep. Yeah, there we go. I'm going wide, um, just because the Grim Echo combo is at least two turns away if I manage to top deck it in the next two turns, and um, I might need to start beating down considering they have Aura of Courage already done. That's fine. Okay, what's that last card? Haha! <laughs> You're not gonna attack, right? Okay. I was like, there's no way. Did the game hear me? Oh my goodness. Is it better to just play this at this point, though? I'll just let attack. Let's see. They're not gonna block in a million years, right? Okay. Trample them! I guess we're just gonna keep playing mid range. This might be like an hour something long video because I, I want to get it in. I just, I swear, before I started filming, I got it five times in a row. So I just, I just don't understand what the, what the problem is here. Let's gear up. Okay. I think my dog's gonna go outside. Standing by the door. I'll walk you in a second. I knew it was relentless. How did I know? How did I know?
you know, it's so complicated when they have one card left and four mana. It's mind-boggling. I just want to play the game. Please. Pretty please. Don't break it. Uh-huh. I'm just going to block here. Waiting. Can't target it down to finish it off anyway, and it's going to go back up to seven. Oh, I was like, please give me the combo. Um, I'll attack with these two first just to see if he, um... Trades here. I think so. Okay, so let's draw twice. Death is a part of life. Okay. Don't worry, I'll throw on Alright, now we're just setting up uh, you know, a kill here. Doesn't matter what they do. Watch them have like no no no, they can't even lava wave right now, so Okay. Don't break it. Okay. I guess they figure over the course of two turns this is gonna die anyway, so I kinda I kinda get that play. A thrilling match. Good game, sir. Not bad. Alright. Justice. Okay, so we're probably versing this OTK. This is gonna be the last game regardless. I don't wanna go over five games. If I don't get the combo this entire video, that's insane. Um because I got it so many times. I might even just like post the pictures of me doing it in the Discord because um, I got it so many times in a row. I'm keeping it, I don't care. <laughs> if I put it back, I'll never see it again. All right, now the game's trolling me. I think the game is actually trolling me at this point. Oh, of course, we're going up against that has, probably has Day of Judgment, so it doesn't even matter if I get the combo off this time. Oh, that's sick. The game is mega trolling me right now. Maybe they aren't running Day of Judgment. Don't worry, I'll throw on you. Are they gonna spam the wolf? To meet you. Good to see How's it going, my friend? Mr. Drek. Pass? Cool. Like that, I like that. I like Grudge Match, too. They're gonna get to their Brontosaurus way before me. Nissa could run Grim Echoes. Wait a minute. Nissa could run Grim Echoes and that could be like a two-piece combo with the other two-piece combo. I just had an idea. Oh no, no, excuse me. I have to do this first. If I must. Can't let them draw that many cards. If they do that in the shrine, I'm in big trouble. Ooh, guys, there might be a new uh, Nissa combo video coming. It's coming. Because that's only three cards, so I still have uh, three other cards I can run of my choice, right? Well, let's make a bigger deal. All are connected. What do they play? Ooh, I like it. Hopefully they play another druid or something and I can just turn the stone. Okay, well that's not very impressive. That's scary. I don't know which one I want to uh, trade with, so I won't attack because I don't want to. I don't want um, five of my health from uh, this guy being taken away from a one drop. So I'm just gonna pass and hope, and hope they don't have some kind of crazy removal. Unstable mutagens is probably crazy with cards like Grudge Match and Blindside too. Oh, of course they have two of them. Oh no! Oh no! Relentless in word? Okay. I can deal with that. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop, 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 stop. 
flying and what? Relentless. Naturally. Um, yeah. Don't worry. Your art now. I want, I, I, I want to clear my board anyway because I'm going to go Brontosaurus into Grim Echoes, so. Makes sense. It counts as it getting resummoned? Or no, it's just giving the same. No, it wasn't giving the same ones back. Wow, that makes Relentless stuff really dumb with unstable mutagens. I've got some really cool Nissa ideas now. Well, it's really just combining all the cool combos in the game. Like, Nissa is just always going to be like the cool combo spell slinger, which I think is really nice. That's horrifying. That's horrifying. Is that showing my intentions too hard? Let's just play this. The next turn I can swing out and then Grim Echoes. Do they run Day of Judgment? That'd be so... Like, Unstable Mutagens, Day of Judgment, and didn't I see something else already? <laughs> Okay. See, this is a good shell for combo decks too because she has a lot of draw power. Okay. It's so scary that these things can be so scary. Just as one drop flyers, it's very interesting. Um. It is only two copies. I was afraid of uh, giant growth here or something, and then losing my guy. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to go for it. But it might be enough. Also, I have another one. So I guess we'll see if they have day of judgment. Don't have it, so I can end the video with a sick combo. Yes! <laughs> That's not it! That's horrifying. This person's this person's nasty. I'm not gonna lie. Mr. Drake, you are nasty, sir. Wait, what's um This is only 16. When I attack back, um, this will be one damage. This will be no damage. This will be well, no, this will be dead. So this will be 16. I'm, I'm just gonna pass. Is it all gonna go on the same one? That's a little unfortunate. Ah, and the remaining damage. That makes sense. Okay, well. You're huge. This can't kill this, so I can just full swing. I applaud this this gentleman. Fantastic. <laughs> Everything getting relentless? I'm so confused. Oh, now I'm at six. I didn't think about <laughs> I didn't think about using all my fragile mana gems. Well still only one of them is gonna die though. So as long as they both don't die this turn, I might be able to grim echoes 
again and potentially win this game. They did it better than me. They did it better than me. Was that their top deck? Well, my goodness, indeed. I'm, I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this. I, regardless, I showed off the power of Grim Echoes. That's all. That's all I wanted to do in the first place. So. Oh, I shouldn't have blocked at all, and it would have. Okay, it wasn't gonna go on that one anyway. Oh, the remaining damage went there anyway. Okay, well, like I said, I'm keeping that in. Still went 4-1 and one in the video, and of course the video that I do get the Grim Echo combo, it's against another Grim Echo deck that's even greedier than me. But, it's fine. It's a cool game. And uh, I respect, I respect what they're doing. I really do. I respect what they're doing. Okay guys, that's going to conclude the Grim Echoes video. The Grim Echo, uh, Grim Echo fun didn't happen to the last game, and it was more fun for my opponent than me. But I promise you, it's not that inconsistent. I don't know why, as soon as I turned the camera on, I couldn't just draw this card. Because you're guaranteed to get the Brontosaurus unless it's like milled or something, right? So, you just have to draw this. And you run Merchant of Death to draw, you run Dodge Death to help you draw. I don't know. Maybe, um... Maybe taking out something for like the 6-6 flying demon thing that could draw you two uh, would be fine. But um, yeah, it just, it just wasn't that hard earlier. But uh, it's five games. The last one was really cool. Uh, so I'm just cutting it there. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.